Hello, hello. Guess what came out yesterday? I mean, today, I mean. Today at midnight in some time zone, we had Brandon Sanderson's Secret Project 2 being released. Obviously, we haven't gotten our premium hard copies yet, but for the Kickstarter people, we have now the ebook version that we could read, or the audiobook if you have that here as well. I have it on my Kindle now. Where is my Kindle? I was gonna show you my Kindle as if that matters. Ugh, I can't get it out. And I do believe you can get it on the 11th of April on Amazon as like, you can buy it, the Kindle. You can't buy the hardcover, but you can buy the Kindle if you really wanna read it because that's what it says on Amazon. So I just assume you can. And I'm ready to start this book. Last time when we had Secret Project releasing, I did like a spoiler free and a spoiler review but this time around I think I'm just gonna do a whole like reading vlog for it obviously I realized that only people I can watch this vlog is people who don't care about spoilers and people who have already read it but I'm just like doing it like this to see like the different format if I like this more or like the spoiler and spoiler free review and um, just for funsies who cares I'm doing what I want so obviously then it means that if you're watching this and you don't want spoilers you should leave because I I want to like say the title and what I expect to get into the book and the whole point of like the secret project is that people don't know anything obviously if you want to know the title etc and you don't care about that you could stay i'm gonna to try to time stamp down below of like which page i'm on as i read on but i will probably forget myself or oh, not page because i don't have page i only have percentages i'm excited to start this i am gonna try to finish it today but i probably won't be able to do that but there's really loud notification but i'm gonna start it today at least and i'm soon going to work but I want to start this vlog. So goodbye to you, whoever you are, if you came in here. And I'm gonna talk about the title and some expectations. Bye. Okay, so the title for this book is really long and I struggled with it. So it's the Frugal Wizard's Handbook for Surviving Medieval England. And I read like the first two sentences of the synopsis where it says that a wizard comes to medieval England. I think there's like time travel included in here and they're gonna survive there. And that's all I know. <laughs> I don't wanna read the full synopsis. I haven't even seen like the cover of like the book. I don't know if it's released even at this moment. I like, I'm trying to not like search for anything. And part one, it's called The White Room. So I'm gonna start that. Um, we like get to start now. I sat here procrastinating, so now I don't have time. But I'm gonna to try to read as much as possible today. It seems to be a bit like humoristic. I don't even know this is not the Cosmere, right? Because medieval England doesn't sound Cosmere like. So it can't be. I'm not an Brandon Sanderson expert. I'm just like talking to myself. Like the first, this is like not a spoiler, but like the first thing it starts out with is like, I came alert, fist raised, and I like the jolt of adrenaline churning through me. I spun light on my feet looking for someone to push sweat streaming down the sides of my face. I was in a field, a sunny field with a forest nearby. What the hell? What the ever loving hell? Like I already read this earlier. And it's like, with that tone already, you know it's going to be kind of like humoristic and fun. So we shall see what happens. I'm going to have to do throughout my reading process, except when I'm at work. But yeah, we shall see what I feel and what, what's going to happen. I, I don't know. But in Brandon Sanderson's style, I bet it's not going to be what I expect. This person has also lost all their memories. So there's that. And obviously, like, they imagine like car keys and mobile phone and stuff. So they're not from medieval England, obviously. But yeah, we shall see why, why this is a thing. I, I just want to add that. <laughs> I'm going to interrupt myself more often than I thought, apparently. So he has this book, which is like the title of the book that I have already forgotten. The Wizards, the Fungal Wizards Guide to Survive Medieval England. And it seems like he bought like a package of travel, maybe. Maybe Bram Sanders is just tricking us to think this. And then that book is like going to help him survive there. He could order like a package like with a house and servants, etc. But... Yeah, so the travel makes him not remember. Unless the whole thing is a trick. I don't know. I don't trust anything. But yeah, so the book is kind of like guide. So actually how he survives there. And that's why it is titled that. And I'm like, okay, okay. So now he's like in this field and he has weird clothes on. He doesn't understand exactly. I mean, weird clothes, I assume, is close to fit in where he is. I'm confused. But we shall keep reading. I mean, I actually need to go soon, but I want to start a bit. Okay, the day turned really long and I didn't update the vlog as I should and I didn't even like read a lot because I only read at work and then I didn't read when I get home because I decided to listen to audiobook instead. So yeah, not finishing the book today, doubt I'll finish tomorrow because on that day I got super busy as well. But it's fine, it's fine. So I'm going to talk a bit about what happened at least. 
So he's trying to find the pages of the book. I think like, I thought it was like the whole book that was missing, but like it seems to be just a few pages of the book. You know, the fungal guy thingy thingy. And then we realize that he's not back in time. He's actually in another dimension that he apparently owns because there's this futuristic kind of company thingy called Wizards Think something that tells other dimensions that can be similar to yours in different ways like you will get be a guarantee that they have another language like they have the same language as you maybe not a pandemic going on there might be a pandemic or you can purchase that but will maybe die really soon out so he's not even back in time it's more like the time more slower for this other dimension so that it's the same time they just move so they don't have the same bewilderment as the world that he comes from or the dimension he comes from so that's why like he haven't actually traveled to time, but he had traveled to a place where time has moved slowlier or development has moved slowlier. And then it feels like he lives back in the day. And I have really had to itch my nose because it feels like I have a hair there, but I cannot find it. Either way, then he also had like these playthings and stuff on him that like protects him against diseases and stuff, but it doesn't seem to be working at his chest and his head where it's supposed to be like working in the best, but it's not working. And then his name is also John West. He apparently is a cop. Um likes to get star ratings to stuff and I'm like okay great and then now he's gonna go on this mission because there's this character named Sephawin because he meets like villagers that live there that first believes he's like kind of an elf thing and then they believe he's like a bandit and stuff but then in the end he tells them that he's a wizard and they're like uh what is that but like basically like a white person that <laughs> writes stuff and then the brother of Sephawin is taken um, by these other people. <laughs> Among them, someone called Ulrich Stormfin that knows him and like hates him and wants to kill him, but he hid at the time. And then he's going with them to try to save the brother. And also, I don't know how this person knows him, but maybe he gave him some of an enemy in this dimension, or maybe it's someone like, you know, from his home dimension, like the characters would maybe, I was gonna say be the same, but it's weird if like, it's back in time, but it's not back in time. I don't know, I'm confused. And now I am at part two, which is called how to be with wizard without even trying, because it does have like some abilities that like it's not normal. He can be a bit stronger. He also like have night vision because like he can take on like the thingy because he has like a controller, he can control the things in his body with etc i don't really know okay i'm also very tired so i cannot explain things properly that is all the stuff that i have taken notes of at least and not more much more happened i'm like not loving it <laughs> that much like i am liking it and i think it's interesting and i'm curious to see where the story will go but i'm not like loving it completely because I'm just like that interested in story right now as it is. So I'm wondering if I like ever be more like what's gonna happen soon. I feel like like Tress, just an, like, an example to compare, dragged me in like at once. So I'm trying to get the thing out of my bag. Like you dragged me in at once. It was a kind of like a story that like I really flowed into at once. But this is just like, mm, it's fine. I like, I don't love, I guess, the setup, even though like it is cool and definitely like more of a mystery thing. We try to figure out like what is going on, and I do think that is interesting. We also get like experts, kind of like commercials from like the reserved place, whatever that sells these dimensions. That's so kind of like funny, like break of the fourth wall there in a way, not completely, but yeah. And I was just like for trying to find out like which kind of world he is in and asking questions, etc. Like that. So I came to <laughs> only 23 percent, so it's not a lot at all, obviously. It says that equal to like 92 pages, so not even like 100 pages, but I do believe it's only like 400, so it's not really like that long of a book either. But I am curious to see what will happen. I want the answer, so I do think that they're going to be bigger than what I think, but it was just like kind of a lot going on right now, but like obviously it's Sanderson, so like what do I expect? But I'm just like, hmm, where does this go? It reminds me a bit of like the original, which is like a brand that's like... Uh, audible exclusive thing with another author that I can't remember the name of right now but it was like kind of like very sci-fi and had like a very interesting setup like this is reminds me like a very much of like a sci-fi book more than like a fantasy book I guess right now obviously they can bridge together I'm not saying I'm not liking it by the way I'm just a bit like mm -hmm, we shall see we shall see what I feel about it you know and I just don't feel as like ooh at once but obviously I know it's going to be about craft the story because it's Anderson but we shall see like how it all plus together and I'm curious to see. So yeah, I'm gonna try to read at least like a hundred pages tomorrow. It's gonna be a very busy day. But I did want to finish it, but we shall see if that happens. And yeah, that's that's the thoughts for this clip. Ish 22 percent in. And you shall see me later. Hello. So I did continue a bit last night. I got to like fifty percent because 
I didn't get to finish it because I was too busy, but I knew that was gonna happen. And I don't know what to say what happened. They on the road tried to like save the brother of Zephyrman. I don't remember his name. Worm, I think. <laughs> and then they meet Vikings. They're not called Vikings, but I'm just calling them Vikings. And he's trying to stop them from raiding. So he's using like all these tricks to convince them that he's like magical, etc. And then they save this dude who is from the Middle East and is like promoting a religion. And then they like join them for the night, like the him and his settlement or whatever. They realize that the person, that the people, the people who was like going around, people from his world, Ulrich, were hunting someone. And he thought they were hunting him. But it turns out they were hunting someone else. And then someone described how he looked like and he can like draw because apparently he used to be an art student. So he drove, drew <laughs> what that person described. And then he realizes that is his partner, which is called Ryan Chu. His cop partner, I assume. Romantic partner, who knows? <laughs> That's what was going on. And then he just like, I don't know, have experiences in this world. And then we got like snippets of like what it is to buy a dimension and what kind of dimension you could buy. To be honest, those are like my favorite parts of the book. I like kind of just don't care that much for the story right now. And I'm a bit sad about it because I don't know. I just don't love the vibes for me. It just, it's not like a kind of story I would love. It's still entertaining and it's still good, but it's just like, I'm a bit like disconnected in my brain and I'm kind of like dredging to pick it up because I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> but it's very easy to read. And like when I'm reading, it goes really fast and I'm just like, I'm into it, but I'm not like loving it, but I am enjoying it and I am curious about it. And I'm curious to see like, if anything was happening is even real, I feel like it could be like, <laughs> fake or it's not at all what we think or something like that but we shall see we shall see i don't know but yeah that is thoughts i guess i don't i don't have anything more i'm boring i i should be theorizing more or something but th that's it yay hello it is the next day and i'm done with part two so i thought i would update even though i'm only 55 percent in i don't really know what's going on <laughs> and i am um, I'm too stupid to read this, apparently. I'm trying to go on, but there's a lot of drawings. So, apparently he met other people that he knew from his past. And he was never really a cop, apparently. He was just like a door guard, because he dropped out of the academy as well. They want to kill him. He stole the key to go to this dimension. He wanted to escape after someone named Jen died. That he mentioned earlier. I forgot to mention it, because I forgot. And then we also have that he stole like this key to go, go here as I said and yeah and then there's a fight and then he used like his nanobites inside his body to heal someone and like oh my god you're a healer and you're a god because like that's why like that's what you're supposed to do when you go to another dimension so they will like kind of not pray to you but think of you as a higher being because you have like more technology than they do and yeah he talks to other people that works for the dude, the Ulrich dude, and I know I think he's gonna go talk to him. I don't even know actually. And then they're also hunting his partner who's like against them and he's like going around and making it hard for like the people to live there. Like the Ulrich people. It seems to be like there. It seems kind of mean. Like mafia dudes maybe. <laughs> I don't even know. And then there's also like a voice talking to him and like a voice like sending him messages and stuff. So I don't understand. Like he seems to have been orchestrating stuff for him, but I don't know who or what or yeah. Part 3. Backsport ruins everything again, it is called. So I'm gonna continue that now. I don't really know who was who here and who was from where in this second, but I assume... Like, when they were fighting, I didn't really get who they were fighting, but I think they fought, like, the Uruk dude's people. And then, like, he healed one of them, and they're like, ah, oh, the other people. But I didn't really get it, because if you fought the Uruk people, they should know that how he healed them, so I guess they fought some other people. I am confused, but... I'm not even making sense in this vlog because I don't un really understand. But yeah, we're going after the boss dude and it'll work. Let's go. Okay, I'm at 74% now. So I'm like about 25% left. And I thought I would update this before we go into new sprint. Things are happening and we do get like kind of some information for things. It seems like this is the one world like of all of the multiple dimensions that it proves that actually has magic in it. There's some kind of like wraiths there and Seth of can apparently see them and they're kind of also connected to our main character in a way. I don't know. But we meet Johnny's partner, Ryan, who like is also working against Ulrich to take him down because he's kind of trying to make this world his like criminal enterprise because he has magic there but apparently this is also killing the world because it's poisoning like the brights so if they stay 
they would get poisoned and eventually die, or, like the whole plant would die. I don't know if the whole plant would die, but the magic will at least die, maybe. So they need to get out of there. And Ryan had destroyed one of the beacons to Ulrich so that he couldn't like land on the planet, but apparently he had another one because he had like a tiny beacon, but the big beacon like kind of took over. So there's that. So they're just trying now to go after Ulrich and then destroy or like take off his beacon so that other people can come in as backup and then like arrest him or whatever. I don't even know because he's making a criminal enterprise. We get a lot of Johnny's background now because he didn't remember but now he starts to remember more and more and Ryan puts it in so apparently like Johnny had like tried many different things like our school police school but he like was kicked out of police school and it seems like he always gave up and like never tried like all the things he was trying to do and then he also like drove Jen away he borrowed money for people all the time people like didn't want anything to do with him because he only asked for money he started to fight in like the ring and lost on purpose so that like his friend could bet against him and then win and then eventually he didn't even have enough that money left and started to walk for Ulrich as a doorman so we know more of his background now he also seems to like raid things all the time like you see things and then gives it a star rating he's like a very judgy person and like she's just judgmental he's always alone because he just judge people kind of and but he never judged himself like Ryan is like hey you were kind of an ass <laughs> and he seems kind of an ass but now he's trying to like reflect on I guess character development yay I'm trying to figure out like what he likes and what he's good at but he's kind of good at drawing which is a good thing because he can draw in perspective that the other people around him can't and they're like oh super amazed by this so this is that's cool i guess so we got to know more about his character at least finally and more about him like through his partner that like kind of ranted about him that he was kind of an ass and drawn away went away and never tried but then also my character johnny was like oh but maybe i just had really bad luck as well that could also affect it, that how i didn't try properly but i can see that i did wrong i guess is the word and now they are going after all week to stop him so i assume i don't know maybe johnny gets to stay in this world why is the focus over there maybe johnny gets to stay in this world and um we shall see in the last 24 episode i am enjoying it more and it makes sense i like the whole like dimension thing i just wish that it wasn't like about an asshole who's trying to redeem himself after having a bit of a f not failed life but like done things and never like have probably been able to finish those things to stop a mafia dude. I wish the plot was something else, at least right now. Yeah. Meh. Okay, so I'm in part four now, which is no refounds, but not like a lot of happened since I lost updated because I opened it and then right after the ended. But he's sad because he wants to keep this world and he feel like he finally found something he cares about, but then he can't stay there because he's, he's poisonous to the world. Yay. And he seems to like the girl. Yay. So the plan was to like distract Ulrich and stuff while attacking like their town. And then Ryan would turn off the beacon, but he failed to do that. And then when he goes in, like, because Johnny found out that this was a trick, he goes in and Jen has been alive this whole time. And then Jen and Ryan had apparently been like having an affair this whole time. And I'm like, bang. Which is sweet. Like since the second week, apparently since they got together. So that's sad. And now, I don't know, this is the final conflict, 83% in. I don't know if he's gonna like take the beacon or stop them or what is going on, but they think that he is on their, his side, like the other people. The other people over Ulrich think John is on his side. I can't say it's not that. Intense stuff. Um, fights. Let's go. Okay, I'm loving this scene because he's fighting uh, Quinn and the others while he said Ryan and I'm home. And then, like, he needs a password to, like, unlock the rest of his, like, armor or whatever. And then, apparently, all we could just, like, put in some random numbers so he would never know the password anyway. And then he pretended that he could just put in numbers and that, like, there was something about this world that would make the probability of those being the right numbers correct. And now he's just pretending that he got, like, his powers back or, like, his strength. But he didn't. And I just, I thought that was a cool, interesting, like move i guess but yeah they're fighting and stuff yay <laughs> and of course the whole poison thing that kills the world around them only lasts for about a month so you can just move from town to town and it won't affect the world at all and he can be with his love etc and there's like gods here and apparently i didn't realize there were gods i thought they were just creatures and one god talked to him and he tried to like die by drowning in knee deep water and it was funny like not the god but johnny because he was like bye and yeah but gods magic so it's kind of like sci-fi magic thing yay and I finished it! Woohoo! So, what did I think? It just ended with him being able to stay, to travel around, to learn the story. And he's happy there and he found his way, which is cute. I like that. Enjoyed. And then we have like this god creature that we follow a bit of the perspective in the epilogue that she can access a lot of his files and stuff inside the thingy he has. It's much more of a cipher book than a fantasy, but still fantasy because we have like gods and actual magic. Though I feel like that wasn't really like explained well. It was just like kind of there and then it wasn't there. And I was kind of confused of how it even worked when I'm used to Brandon Sanderson giving us specifics of magic. And then, you know, it was a plot. It was kind of like a mafia, let's stop people. Ooh. And I just didn't enjoy that either. I didn't really like our main character. I enjoy like the whole idea of the 
dimensional dimensions you could buy and like the commercials you had to like show the world i like those ideas and he also mentioned in the acknowledgements that the editor of that some of the books is also an editor of some like we see in his other books i think a lactotras he said or something else <laughs> maybe and then i like i enjoy those parts and i enjoy baroness henderson obviously as a writer i just didn't love this i don't know even know what to rate it i feel like my enjoyment is like three stars but i do think it's original and fun but it's just not a story for me it's not a kind of story i would enjoy and i feel like the bias in my head is because it's baroness henderson and i want to automatically like give it like full part but I know this is not a full part for me and between three and four like trust was like automatically like five just the way it was written and the way it was told it was like totally a story for me this was a bit like of elements I didn't really enjoy but like I feel like I could have enjoyed it if it was done a bit differently because it just didn't like feel like anything was explained properly or not even needed to like sit down and explain it but it was just like element of this element of this like stop this dude I don't know who I am and I feel like all the aspects of the story could have been explored more. Like, the dimensions could have been explored more. The whole, like, his background could have been explored more. Him as a character could have been explored more. And the world we actually landed in and the magic there. Everything could have been more of what it actually was. And I've even got, like, all these small snippets. But it didn't feel like the big comprehensive story that I wanted. That I'm used from Banner Sanderson. I'm a tiny bit disappointed because, you know, I put him really high. He's one of my favorite authors. And I'm not saying I hated it. I liked it. I feel like a lot of people probably will like this. Because... It's Brandon Sanderson and like people would be like, oh, that is really cool and blah, 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 blah. I just feel like for me, the story didn't work perfectly like I'm used to. And like, for me, I was kind of bored <laughs> and it's a bit sad. So enjoyment wise, not amazing, even though I could see many elements of the story that I did enjoy and thought was on well. I don't know. So yeah, I'm sitting between like a three of five, I guess, would be the right answer for this, which is a bit sad, but... I'm still not regretting it about it. And I think it's very different from its other works. And I think it's fun to see an author doing different things. It's just that this had a lot of elements that I personally don't love in books, etc. Curious to see what other things. I assume most people would love this. It just didn't work like 100% for me, even though it's probably a good book. I'm not saying it's bad or anything like that. It's just not my favorite from him, which I think is fair to say. But alas, that is the end of this vlog, I guess, because I finished the book. And I hope you enjoyed this little spoiled vlog, even though I feel like I just didn't explain anything properly because I was a bit confused, to be honest. Definitely different from him. Glad about that. And yeah, I finished Seeking Project 2. And I'm going to go and read some other stuff. So thank you so much for watching this. If you see me soon in a new video, leave a wizard emoji down below if you enjoyed this. And you should see me soon. And also, I think the title is misleading because it has wizard in there. And he's not even a wizard, but it makes sense when you read the books, I guess. That was kind of the point. Okay, bye.